founder, proud founders of the uh, Seattle Bay's Breakfast Group. Uh, we first started having breakfast on the second Thursday of each month about 1976. And from that day forward, we've always discussed and carried out ideas that we developed uh, to uh, have as our goal, trying to figure out what we can do as successful black men to reach back and help other younger, uh, lower income, disaffected African-American men in our broader community. And I think that the Breakfast Group, in terms of its mission, has been very successful at doing that. For example, in 1980, uh, maybe we uh, raised about eight or $10,000 in one year. Uh, 2013, 14, uh, we're raising like eighty to hundred thousand uh, dollars to be used for program activities to help at-risk black youth. In 1980 we had helped about 50 or 60 youth. Uh, by 2014 uh, we have helped alone in terms of higher education, uh, junior college and four-year colleges over 500 youth and uh, about tenfold that number we've helped young people stay in school at the alternative and basic public school level. So we are doing a good job, and we're doing that primarily through our project, MISTA programs, and other times when we're asked to come and speak uh, to youth in various high schools. Well, I was uh, kind of surprised and startled uh, today to hear the Seattle Mayor, uh, Ed Murray, say that nearly 47% of all African-American males are living in households below uh, and under the poverty level. That's a tremendous problem because poverty means you don't have even the basic resources uh, to make ends meet. So I think we should, that we the breakfast group, uh, should further drill down into what are the causes uh, of economic exploitation, economic disadvantagement in the Seattle area as it particularly impacts uh, young black males and figure out even more specific strategies that we can use to make a dent uh, in that poverty level and then measure ourselves by the extent to which we're able uh, to work with others to lower the 47% uh, poverty rate, the 50% 50, 50 dropout rate of, amongst African American youth in Seattle and surrounding school districts. And I think uh, that we can set those kind of goals, hold ourselves accountable, and with the help of people in the broader community, uh, make even a greater difference than we have in the past. That's what I'd like to see.